Hi, my name's Daniel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to block all VLAN to VLAN traffic, but allow one-way access. For example, Office to an IoT network. Now before we get into the video, if I've helped you in any way or you like the content that I supply, smash that subscribe button, press the thumbs up, and we'll get straight into it. Now, for demonstration of this video, I've got a couple of networks set up on my home network here. And the first one is Dreamer Office, and the second one is Dreamer IoT, and we also have Dreamer Kids. Now, I put myself on the 192.168.10 network, which is a Dreamer Office. And I've put my partner on the 192.168.30 network, which is the IoT network. We also have a Ubiquiti Cloud Key Gen 2, which I use for my Protect system, and that's also on the IoT network. And the first thing that I want to show you is that if we ping 192.168.30.216, which is the protect network, with the VLANs without any firewall rules configured, you have straight access to every VLAN on your network. Now, with that in mind, the first thing that we want to do is block all VLAN to VLAN traffic. Now, in order to do that, you simply go to settings, you go to security, you go to internet threat management, you scroll down to firewall and you want to create a new group for the purpose of this i'm going to call this all vlans and we're going to change this to the ipv4 address and in here we're going to add 10.0.0.0 forward slash 8 then we're going to add 172.16.0.0 forward slash 12 then we're going to add 192.168.0.0 forward slash 16 and we're going to press apply now we want to go to firewall and we want to create a new rule and we want to change it to LAN in and i'm going to put in here block all vlan to vlan traffic and we're going to put the action as drop we're going to put the source as all vlans the group that i just created the destination as all vlans the group i just created and we're going to leave all of these unticked and we're going to press apply now that i have done that if i come down to my command prompt and type in ping 192.168.30.216 we will no longer have access to the protect system or any other network for that matter okay as you can see the next step is that we want to allow access from the office network to the iot network for this we need to create two different firewall rules the first one come back to firewall go to create rule put it back to land in and we want to go allow established connections again we want before and we want accept we want to leave this as empty we want to leave the destination as empty as well but in advance we want to go established and related and we want to press apply from here we want to go back to firewall, go back to LAN, and drag that above the block or VLAN to VLAN traffic. Now, you'll note when I do this, we still don't actually have access to the IoT network. Okay, that's because there is a third rule that we need to create. So we come back to Internet Threat Management. We go to Create a New Rule. Again, we want to go to LAN in, and we want to go Allow Office to IoT. We want to, as before again, and accept. We want the source as a network. We want to select Dreamer Office. And we want the destination as a network. And we want to select Dreamer IoT. In advance, we want to match new, established, and related. And we want to press apply. Now, from here, we also have to go to Firewall, go to LAN, and bring that up above the other two rules that we just created now that we've done this we've allowed office to the iot network but the iot network isn't allowed access to the office network so the only way that the iot can have access to the office network is if the office network requests that access to prove this i'm going to bring up my command prompt i'm going to ping 192.168.30.216 which is my protect system and we are receiving replies 
Now, also for this case, I'm going to ping my partner's PC, which is on the IoT network, 192.168.30.220, and we're receiving replies. Now, if I go into my partner's PC and try and ping myself on the 192.168.10.158, there's no response and it will time out. However, <clears throat> my partner will have access to anything else on the IoT network, as an example, the Unified Protect system, that's because she's on the IoT network. If we try and ping anyone, now let's go choose something else. We've got a, uh, we've got a phone, Galaxy S10 on the Dreamy Kids network. So 192.168.20.34. If we ping that, 192.168.20.34, this will also time out. So that is how you allow access one way. So in this case, the office can talk to the IoT network, but the IoT network cannot talk to the office network unless the office network requests it. The important thing to know is, is if you want multiple VLANs to have access to the IoT network, you do need to create multiple rules. Or you don't need to, but I would suggest that you do for ease of use in the future. So for example, if I have a printer in here, which I plan on bringing, or if I want the Chromecast connected to the IoT network, which I also plan on doing, and I want to allow kids access to the IoT network, I now come into settings, back to security, back to internet threat management, and we'll do the same thing that we did for the office, but for the kids as well. So again, land in, allow kids to IOT. Before, accept, source as network, Dreamer Kids, and destination as network, Dreamer IOT. Advanced, new, established, and related. Now that I have done that, when I add the Chromecast, oh, don't forget, we also need to actually bring that up to the top as well. Now that I have done that though, in order to, if I, when I add the Chromecast to the IOT network, they will be able to actually cast to the IoT network as well. Remembering that you do need to turn MSDS, uh, MDNS on in your settings as well. But look, if you want a video in relation to that, I can do that in another video. Okay, so that's about it for today's video. That's how you uh, block all VLAN to VLAN traffic and allow one-way access. If I've helped you in any way, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, press the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.